Okay, so hopefully I'm recording right now. Um, if not, that'll be very sad. But my first one that I, the first problem that I am um, going to explain is the uh, one where you have to count backwards from a thousand. Um, and after uh, Ms. Phelps explained it, I realized how silly my mistakes were. So we have to use a for loop for this. So it's for, um, use parentheses, and then we uh, need to make um, an integer a variable. So we do in and then num, and we're starting at a thousand, so it equals a thousand. Um, and then you do the semicolon to separate um, each thing that you want it to do. So, and then we're gonna, um, have it stop uh, when it gets to one. So it has to be greater than or equal to one. Um, that's when it'll work. Um, so it'll stop at one. And then we do num minus minus, which is the same as the plus plus um, that you do if you were adding variables or numbers. Uh, and then we just do uh, system dot out dot print num and then another curly brace and that should be it so if i were to um compile oh i need to save file so i'll save that yes and then so i compile it and then i run oh uh there's no space in between the numbers but um it sure does uh, print all the numbers out here. Maybe if I change it to LN, there we go. That's all the numbers printed out right there. It's a lot, so a lot of scrolling, but there we go. That's all the numbers printed out from um, 1,000 to 1. As you can see at the very bottom in one second, there is the number one and it stopped right there since we um, made made it so that um, it will only print out if the number is greater than or equal to one. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple, not too hard. Um, and there you go, that's the uh, problem for counting backwards.